Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my April reading plans, my TBR, my pile of possibilities, whatever you prefer to call it. This is a large stack of books yet again. I actually thought at the, when I was pulling this book list together for the month that I had a reasonable TBR. And then I looked at the number and went, no. <laughs> So I'm not sure exactly how that happened. I think I thought it would be reasonable because I only have one buddy read and one group read this month. And somehow, and I'm not judging the book two prize um, in the second round. I judged the first round and decided, no, I'm not going to do the second to give myself a bit of a break from that. And so just those two things combined, I thought, oh, this will be an easy, kind of an easy reading month. Maybe I can fit in some good mood reading. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but that's okay. I'm so excited to share all these books with you. So what am I going to start with? I always start with the thousand and one books. And here is what I have selected for the month. Of course, I have my book club pick for the thousand and one book club, which I'm co-hosting with Britta Bowler. This one is called Hideous Kinky by Esther Freud. There's a lovely Kate Winslet on the cover because it looks like this has been adapted into something into um, a movie or a series. I have not seen that though. So this particular book, uh, nice and short. I'm happy about that. I don't know much about this one, but this is the 1001 book club pick. The second book, I'm going to dive in and try and get another book off of my shelf that is maybe a little bit... Um, difficult. So a couple of these books I'm doing specifically because I think they're going to be a little bit dip more difficult. So the first one is Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino. I have read two Italo Calvino. One I really liked and then the last one was not as successful. I've heard good things about Invisible Cities but it's a nice short little book again. I'm trying to keep the thousand and one books mostly short. I have one very long one but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how I do with it. I really really hope I love this one um, because then it'll be two for Calvino and one kind of against Calvino. So we'll see. We'll see how this one goes but that is the next one that I picked. Another book that I selected was another kind of difficult author. I've hit or miss with this particular author and I will be reading The Cement Garden by Ian McEwan. I have read Amsterdam. I've read, oh my goodness, I can't even remember now. I don't have it in front of me, but this is another short little book. So we'll give this one a try and see how this one goes. I also will be reading a Kurt Vonnegut. I reread Slaughterhouse Five fairly recently and really did love that book quite a bit. And there was a character in there called Mr. Rosewater. And so what I will be reading is God Bless You, Mr. Rosewater by Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, I don't think this is related. Maybe it is related. I don't know. But the name made me think that they may be related. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a go. I do like Vonnegut's writing, and so it'll be a good, I think it'll be a good follow-up to having just reread Slaughterhouse Five. And the last and biggest book from the thousand and one list is going to be this one, The Adventures and Misadventures of Mackerel by Alvaro Mutis. Um, yeah, this is a nice NYRB edition of this particular book. I think I got it used if I remember correctly. I am excited about this one, but again, it's one I don't know much about. It is the largest book by far on my TBR for the month of April. Most of the other books are fairly reasonable. I don't have an 800 page mammoth. Oh, how many pages is this? Maybe I should actually look. Uh, 600 plus. So I'm trying not to leave the really big books till the very end of the year because that always makes it so I can't quite get to my goal of hitting my 52 books read in 52 weeks. So that's my last thousand and one book. I think that's a decent, that's a decent pile for that. Not too bad, not too big. Uh, in the month of March, I had a mammoth in there and some other books, but this seems, it feels fairly reasonable. All right, so I have two other projects, well, three other projects, but two projects I'll talk about today. The first one is my uh, TBR veteran project where I'm reading 24 books that are my oldest on my shelves. And for this coming month, I selected this one, Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. I think this should be a, hopefully a fairly easy read. I, um, I don't remember why I bought this other than for the cover. I mean, maybe for the cover. There is something I'm, I, maybe I'm just in a mood for half-faced, covers like this. I don't know. Possible. Possible. 
But yeah, that was one that I selected for my TBR veterans. The second one, I'm going to go ahead and pick up The Drawing of the Three by Stephen King. This is the second book in the Dark T Tower series. I have read The Gunslinger, but it's been a number of years since I read that. And I got about halfway through this and then had to stop reading. I was waiting for someone to catch up reading with me and then just decided, you know what? I'm just going to read it. <laughs> so I think this one will be also a very fast read. It's, it looks bigger than it is. This one actually has some illustrations in it as well. So not too, not too shabby, I don't think, as far as how complicated it will be. But you'll see here, yeah, lots of some illustrations in it. But that is my, those are my two books for my TBR veteran. All right, so my buddy reads and group reads. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. Uh, my subscriber favorite project. I have not fully selected those yet. I have some books coming in from the library. Uh, and I might pick up those. I'm kind of playing that one a little bit looser because I want to have a little bit more flexibility on what comes in. Maybe I'll pick up uh, a couple of different ones in there, but I have some great options coming my way that aren't quite ready at the library yet. So I'm very excited about that. I have been enjoying that project quite a bit this year, but just haven't quite selected the ones I want to read yet in April. I, like I said, I have some good options. Uh, the group read that I will be doing is this one, book four of The Expanse by James S.A. Corey called Cibola Burn. I will be reading this with Gemma from Gemma Books, Fraser Simon from Springboard Thought, and Sarah from Freshly Read Books. Oh, this is the fourth one. I'm so excited about picking up this universe again. I do love these quite a bit. These do not feel like they're difficult for me to pick up and want to read. I could pick it up today and probably read it. Oh, I've also learned don't flip through these books um, because your eye might catch on something that is a very big spoiler. Why do I do that? I just tried to do it again. <laughs> but I wonder what this front thing here, look at that, whatever that is. That looks like something, some kind of missile or something. I don't know. But yeah, I do love the characters. I love James Holden in this. I love Amos. Oh, I read the short stories all the way up until right before this book. And the last one happened to feature Amos. Oh, so good. So incredibly good. But yeah, I'm excited to get back with my friends reading this one. I will try and keep to the schedule, but no promises, no guarantees. The other buddy read I have in the month of April is with Heidi over at My Reading Life, and we will be reading Bel Canto by Ann Patchett. This will be my uh, second Ann Patchett. I just read Tom Lake for the Book Two Prize, and so I am very interested in picking up this one. It's She's an author that I have on my list as having read one of her books, uh, but I don't remember much about it, so this one should be really good. If you haven't read Bel Canto, let's see if we can read the back of this one since we have some time. Somewhere in South America, at the home of the country's vice presidents, a lavish birthday party is being held in honor of the powerful businessman, Mr. Hono Honokawa, Hosokawa. I can't read this font. It's so small. Roxanne, uh, opera's most revered soprano, has mesmerized the international guests with her singing. It is a perfect evening until a band of gun-wielding terrorists take the entire hostage hard... Uh, entire... <laughs> take the entire party hostage. Not what I thought. I'm I'm not going to lie. That's not quite what I thought this book would be about. So I'm not sure what I thought it would be about, but now I'm really intrigued. So we will be starting this the second week of April. I also got a book from the library, which is also related to Heidi. Um, she has a naturalist book club. And one of the books that they had selected is actually this one, The Vaster Wilds by Lauren Groff. I don't remember which month it was in, but it came in at the library and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try and read it this month as well in April and see how it goes. It's not a very long book and I am excited to read some Lauren Groff. I also own matrix somewhere up on my up on my shelf uh, so it'd be maybe possible to read matrix as well i don't know um well that's my kind of official tbr minus my subscriber favorites minus my inspirational book which i won't announce until i do my recap on at the end of the month uh, for how my step challenge went and beyond that we'll see I didn't read everything, spoiler, I didn't read everything I wanted to read in March. So I have some carryover books that I could pick up. I have a couple of other library books that I should read. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But 
lots of interesting books, lots of great authors in this, some books I'm excited about, uh, some books I don't know anything about. I think it will be a pretty phenomenal month. Some great five-star potential in here as well. And I do feel so relaxed now about not reading for the BookTube Prize. I do love the BookTube Prize, so please don't take that as any criticism on the prize. I just know six more books in the two months will be more than my brain can kind of handle right now. So I am going to take this next round off. So yeah, uh, what are you reading in the month of April? I would love to hear that in the comments down below. I uh, can't wait to hear from you. If you don't feel like uh, leaving a comment, you can leave me an emoji. We can do a flower emoji. Any of the ones that you would like to leave. I do like a good flower. Uh, but as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, bye!